Hello and happy new years, sixth graders. Mr. Brandon here uh, on a brand new year, a brand new opportunity. So sometimes kids worry about, oh no, I'm behind. Well, you're not behind. I want you to focus, at least on math, on where we are right now. Brand new opportunity for you to stay right with us. So let's get started. I want to be crystal clear about the expectations every day, every morning even. I would say whether you're going to start with math or not, you should check our Google Classroom. Check our Google Classroom. Sometimes there'll be something posted here, uh, but always, always, always go to our classroom. You see today, I haven't posted yet. It's just a draft. I'll have the date and you'll go there and you'll click on that. Well, I guess I have that open over here. Um, and I'll tell you exactly what I want you to do today. So the first thing is you're going to take your attendance. Um, I've got a little bit of a different kind of thing for you. Rather than playing uh, which one doesn't belong every day, you're just going to open that attendance. And uh, I'm going to ask you which cohort you are. This will make it easier for me to uh, organize. I know that's what Mr. Gonzalez does. And then I'll have one math problem for you. Quick and easy. You see the answers and then you're going to answer them for me. Um, if you get it wrong, it'll give you another chance. So. Uh, you'll just it's going to send you in this little loop sort of like a very mini 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 escape room so don't worry about that after you've looked at your attendance um, you're going to have a, a lesson each day you've got a lesson you see a lesson 1.1 that comes from the book so this is what i want you to do today i want you to take attendance i want you to do this lesson now i know some of you have never done so far this whole year never done one lesson you know you're failing math it's so terrible well here's your chance to start brand new so i expect 90 minutes of math i think it's going to take you about 15 or 20 minutes to do this activity we'll look at that in a little bit uh, and then spend the rest of the time doing dream box so uh how you get to it if you don't have a green book at your house you're going to come up to the top here and you've got these links this is the links for the meetings today here's a dream box link uh, and here's the link to your textbook. Let's just open that guy. And here it is. It's just exactly the same thing is in your um, is in your uh, book at home. It's this book right here, Numerical Expressions. I don't know. I'm going to see which one you like better. And then click on 1.1, and this is where we are on page 7 right here. Looks like this. Oh, that's page two. Now, here's the important, here's the hardest part of math right here. Do not work the problems. You can to find out. Work the problems in your textbook. This is the lesson. This is where they're showing you how to do it. You should look at the lesson. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the part that where I'm going to uh, have us work is in the exercises. Now, uh, I'm going to provide videos every day, just like this video here. And uh, also there are example lessons over here that you can click on these tutorials. They'll give you an example here. Also, the easiest thing to do if you get stuck, I don't know how to add uh, four-digit numbers plus three-digit numbers. You can see today's going to be pretty easy. So you're just going to come back and, oh, here's some algorithms for all that kind of stuff that maybe I forgot. So that's going to help you right there in the book. Um, Lots of other things here, flashcards that you can print out if you want to practice. Like um, today on Thursday, we have a little bit of a quiz already over some of this stuff. So um, it'll give you a chance to practice. You can do more. Go ahead in the selected answers. I'll show you in the back of the book. You have they give you answers to all the odd problems. So guess which ones I'm asking you to do. That's right, the evens. There's some other things you can look at here, some reviews for skills, handbooks, different things like, I forget how to round numbers. How do I do that? I don't remember how to add or subtract. So, oh, it shows me all these kind of things. There's help everywhere. Not to mention that, you know, I'll be at my computer most of the day and you can click on the link in our Google Classroom uh, at the front on the stream right here. That'll be open most of the day with me waiting to help you. So you have better access to help than maybe you ever have had before. So let me show you what we're going to do. So you've got the book problems. I've made a Google Doc for every lesson. Well, not yet I haven't, but that's what I'm working on. It takes me a long time. And you're going to see just what I showed you just like in our um, 
attendance, your name, I can track it really easy. And so here's the answers to the questions. You are going to click on those. And sometimes like number problem number two, problem number four, problem number six, problem number eight. So you've got a answer space. Um, also, you're going to be able to see when you're finished after you submit your answers. Um, you're going to have an opportunity to see your answers. Also, I've got some uh, a little bit of opportunity for you to express yourself at the end of the each day. How long did it take you to work on this? Because uh, I'm interested in the time that we're taking. So I hope you enjoy this work. And it, it's a totally different style than we've been doing. Uh, for some kids, maybe it'll agree with you more. Anyway, I hope you have a terrific new year, a great new start, and, ha and I'll see you at the meeting.